What's up guys, I'm Ben from Authentech and this is the new OnePlus 5. Now they create a good phone and they're touting an even better camera this time around. Dual camera, clear photos, well I want to put it through its paces and see how she does. And make sure you're subscribed for my next video, I'm going to be comparing its camera to my Galaxy S8. Let's jump right in. So the main specs, they include dual rear facing cameras, just like the iPhone 7 Plus. The primary wide angle is 16 megapixel, 24 millimeter f1.7. The second one is a 20 megapixel, 36 millimeter at f2.6. Now they do not have OIS, optical, they only have electronic image stabilization. In my test, the stabilization actually looked pretty good. It can shoot 4K video at 30 FPS. Focus so far seemed pretty well improved, especially over that previous version. I might be coming out with a comparison video of this new OP5 versus the old 3T. Make sure you subscribe for that one as well. Slow motion is 720p, 120 FPS. Now it's cropped in a bit too tight in my opinion. I'd like it to have a slightly wider angle in that slow motion, but Thankfully it's not a big deal and the shots still come out looking sweet. Good clarity and sharpness even for 720p. The main purpose for this dual camera is twofold. You can zoom in like a slight telephoto lens and have a tighter angle like an optical zoom. Secondly, it allows background blurring portrait mode just like the iPhone. For people, portrait shots, it actually looks nice. Kind of that blurred out background DSLR effect looks sweet. Now you can try it on other objects. I tried it on this tree once and you can see that it was pretty bad. Then I tried it on this little post and it looked pretty cool, very shallow depth of field effect, but you can still see where that cutout isn't super precise and it can mess up certain areas a little bit. The front facing selfie camera is 16 megapixel, 20 millimeter at f2.0. It can shoot 1080p as the max video resolution. This is a video and audio test of the new OnePlus 5 front facing selfie camera. How's the focus, how's color, quality, resolution? You guys tell me. How's video stabilization? It's not optical, only EIS, but sometimes they can do pretty good. Here's some low light photo and video tests. Of what I can see, it's pretty noisy, but the images still look pretty nice. Even in those dark shadow areas, you can still see some details. It's a bit noisy, which isn't great, but they're usable. So the OnePlus 5 camera, does it live up to the hype? Is it better than the previous model? Well, make sure you subscribe to see that comparison video versus the 3T and also versus my Galaxy S8. You guys tell me what you think of the photo, video, and audio tests. Of what I've seen so far, it looked really solid. The phone overall is very fast and snappy and I'm really liking that pure vanilla Android. And the best thing about this thing is the price. It's cheaper than all those other flagships out there like the S8 and the iPhone. Let me know what you guys think of this phone and the camera down in the comments. Now if you haven't already, consider subscribing. And huge thanks to Gearbest for sending me the sample unit. If you want to check out the current pricing, that'll be down in the description. Until next time, let's live authentic.